Okay, so I've got my track here, and to master the track, the best way to do that is to make sure that everything on the mixer is not clipping in the red. Get everything nice and balanced, even if it sounds quiet, just get everything nice and balanced so that nothing is clipping in the red. So if I play my track, uh, we'll play it from here because that's got quite a lot of things going on. Okay, so you can see there that when it's playing at the main part of the track, there's no clipping anywhere uh, on the master or on any of the individual parts of the track that's really important um, to get everything balanced without anything clipping in the red even if it sounds quiet you can make it louder later just make sure it's not in the red I've put everything onto a, a bus um, that's really just so that we can keep an eye on the levels of this particular track um, that's just set to zero decibels. Oh, I've actually put the master on minus one decibel. Um, I don't know why I do that. I just I just do that. Um, I, I think if you can get it to sound loud with one decibel lower, then it's definitely going to sound good when it's at full. Also, um, another thing you might want to do is get a track to compare it with so you've got so we've got something to work alongside so with this being drum and bass I'm thinking um, maybe Mackie G so I've just put a, a Mackie G track on there just draw draw that in Okay, so now we've got the Mackie G track as well. So if we just select the Mackie G track on its own, and we'll set this one at zero decibels. So this is what it was released at, this uh, WAV file. And when you play this at normal volume, um, zero decibels, Oh, and the mix is minus one. This this is what you what what we get. It's uh, definitely in the red there. Okay, so that's the Mackie G track. Sounds nice and loud. And we're going to try and get this track sounding uh, similar to that. Just going to reset the levels. Ah, yeah. So if you just click on the uh, click on them, that will reset them. So let's go back to my track then. Okay. So the way to do this then is to turn things up gradually, um, but. Uh, start off with the thing that you want to stand out. So I want the drums to stand out. So I'm going to get do that first. Okay, there. So we're starting to get a clip there on the on the boss. So just reset that. Now I'm going to click on the effects button here. Um, you've got all the Sony effects here. Um, some of these don't do anything; they're just for of other things that that use plugins. So yeah, we're going to add this thing here. Then that's the the wave hammer, which is basically a compressor. Um, we're going to turn the actual compressor off. 
and use this volume maximizer now the output level is the output that you're wanting it to do so it's set at zero decibels but I'm actually gonna just reduce it slightly to 0.2 um, and then the threshold we can turn that up and down depending on how much we need to turn it up and down so for now we won't really touch that um, I've just put it at 0 0.9 let's just go back to the mixer now that should have sorted out the, the red lining so you can see now on the bus it's not red lining anymore it has now uh, stop the, the clipping so we'll just go back to boosting uh, the levels Okay, so I'm I'm liking how that sounded now, I'll just compare that to the other tune. <laughs> Okay, so I think we can get it a bit louder. Um, to do that, I'm going to go back to the compressor that we put on the earlier. So just going to play around with this then. Okay, yeah, so you can see from the compressor that when you 
move the threshold down uh, it does increase increase the volume so we're going to do that now <laughs> Yeah, so that definitely sounds louder with the compressor on it. Um, although I'm only using the volume maximizer, um, I've just turned the compressor bit off. Just bypass the compressor and then minus 5 on the threshold output level 0.2. So let's have a look at that on the mixer. Yeah, you can see on the mixer as well, it's one point uh, minus 1.2 so the volume maximizer is doing its job because we set that to output level 0.2 and we've set the master at minus 1 decibel so if we go up to zero decibels when we play the track now it should come in at minus two uh, sorry not point two okay there it is so you can get pretty loud without hitting the red distorting it let's just hear the two again and then the Mackie G one and then we'll just play the one I did again so yeah as you can see you can get it pretty loud without hitting the red now I th it's already pretty loud but I think we can get it a bit louder and I'll show you how to do that now so to do that let's just go right back to the very start of the track <laughs> Okay, I've noticed those drums are, are starting to clip, so I'm just going to bring those down. Let's try that again. Just wondering as well if we if we could turn up the uh, sound of the, uh, the the suspense there. Now that's already maximum maximum volume. Um, so there's an effect for that. Hit the effects button again, and we we'll use the Sony volume. Now if we turn this up to Yeah, about about six. Then we can drop it down.
and we can turn it up if if we need to so let's see about doing that <laughs> Yeah, okay, so managed to get that up a little bit louder. Um, also, on the drums, let's have a look at the drums. So, a very common way of boosting the drums is just to get the, the frequency on the sp sweet spot and give it a little boost. So, we'll just do that now. <laughs> So for this one, use the Sony Track EQ. And give it a little boost. And best way to do it is just move it around until you find where the sweet spot is. Usually around five, 5k. Yeah, I think that's it. That's definitely where it wants to be. So back to the mixing console. Oh, actually, I just spotted here. On the Mackie G track. When you load uh, any audio on Acid Pro, it automatically puts on a track EQ for you. It doesn't put any levels but it, it automatically puts one on so just to make sure this is completely fair test we need to be um we'll turn the uh, effects off there yes yeah, so that's got rid of the the light there on the track here we've still got the 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 compressor here um without the compressor turned on just the the volume maximizer that one's nothing on there don't don't put anything on the master and um, yeah let's just try the try these again Um, and I think we could still get it louder. Um, so I'll show you how to do that now. So just going to render the track.
Okay, so got the track. It it rendered the Mackie G track as well. <laughs> Look, has put the the Mackie G track on it as well. But we'll go back to the mastering. So we've got a new audio track here. I uh, automat I uh, automatically puts on the uh, the uh, track EQ. We'll just turn that off for a minute. Probably will use that in a second, but I just want to. Oh, yeah, it just shows that, yeah, it does automatically put those on. So, all right, so let's just have a quick listen then. Oh, yeah, so when Acid puts on a track, it automatically puts it on um, minus six decibels. So we'll just turn it up to zero, same as the. Uh, the Mackie G tune. Um, yeah, we'll just play these uh, again. Yeah, so that's popping at, at the 0 0.2 decibels, same as before, when we've just rendered that. Mackie G track still sounding very loud. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so let's see if we can get it louder. See, I am going to add a, a track EQ. <laughs> Alright, so that's instantly louder, but we've got clipping. So, how do we sort it? Go to the mixing console. Add another effect. I'm going to add the wave hammer. Same as before. Bypass the compressor. Volume maximizer. I like to put it at minus two, at 0 0.2. And threshold varies. I mean, the lowest I've ever dropped a track was down to about minus nine and a half. Um, but that was a very quiet track. Remember when I was saying it doesn't matter about um, how loud it is. It's about making sure everything's balanced and not in the red before you start boosting everything. Everything's got to be balanced and not in the red. So one track I did ended up being very quiet. Um, and when it came to this stage, I actually had to drop it to about minus 9.5 in order to get the, the sweet spot. Um, always start on, on zero and then just move it until you find the sweet spot when things start down and that's the same when I was boosting the volumes uh, earlier I was as soon as it even started sounding even slightly distorted or muffled drop it down again you know it's gone too loud um, and that's the exact same thing with the threshold on on compressors um, in order to get the the sweet spot so let's just see if we can get rid of that clip in then We'll just reset the levels. Hi, 
louder but is it better though that's the question let's have another listen but but it is loud though so just turn these off again you know what i think it's just eq'd differently i don't think it is louder i think it's just eq'd differently um and that's just really down to preference so you know that's why it's important to get everything balanced out because there's only so much you can do to turn it up so getting it balanced to start off with without distorting everything is 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 really the trick to this and and as you can see you don't even really have to put that much onto it in terms of giving it the boost it's just a little bit of a compression and that's it um go back to the mixer and just play these again so you've got that's coming in on the minus two from where we set it on uh, 0 0.2 from where we set it on the mixer um and obviously yeah that's got the effects on that we put on the, the compressor Mac g tracks just playing vanilla no effects on it zero decibels um and yeah, for some reason that just comes in. For some reason it just comes in like that. So. So yeah, that's it.